it doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't you agree? So you don't want. Okay, okay. Listen to me. You don't want the money back. Only you want to cancel the order, right? Was I charged money? Yes. And I want my money back. I, money. I didn't so do it. So you want your money back or not? Yes. You want your money back? Then that's why you are filling up this form. That is the reason. Right, but then I, why is there a question that says I uh, authorize the account? refund? Yes, click on yes. Does anyone you click no? Is there anyone who doesn't authorize to get their money back? Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi, ma'am. This is Kevin, and you are connected to Amazon. How may I help you? Uh, I need to cancel the order. I, I didn't order anything. Yes, ma'am. So you are connected to the fraudulent department of Amazon. So are you aware that means uh, what was the order about? I don't want it. Cancel it. My name you is don't want Dorothy okay, don't... Friedenrich. Sorry, Dorothy? Yes. Okay. All right. So, for canceling the order, you have to use your computer. So, can you take your time and be in front of your computer so that I can guide you with that form? Yes. Are you in front of your computer? Yes, I was just looking up recipes for pecan sandies. I found a new recipe okay. that says that if you add an extra cup of mayonnaise to the cookies, that it's much more moist and delicious. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying my new recipe. Um, but yes, I, I'm right by my computer right now. Okay. So which computer are you using? It's a uh, Windows or a MacBook? Uh, well, I'm not very smart when it comes to the computers, but I know that it's a uh, Windows. Windows. Okay, you are using a Windows computer. No problems at all. So, try to open up your Google Chrome browser. Google Chrome browser. Google page. Now, can All you repeat right. that for me, what you typed in so far? www.dreamweaver.com. Is that right? Sorry? www.teamviewer.com uh -huh. Yes, now press enter and search for that. What? What did you say? I don't understand you when you're mumbling. No, 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 no. I was not telling you. I heard you mumbling you just press on the enter. phone. You, you, just, you just press enter and search for that, what you can see there. Tell me. There's some kind of thing. It says Dreamweaver Remote Desktop. Tell me. It says your Dreamweaver free download will start momentarily. Dreamweaver setup. Welcome to Dreamweaver. Remote support. Unattended access. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you can start EXE. Bottom left hand corner. Now, you can see uh, there is an Amazon page. Can you see that? Yes. Now look at the top right hand side of the uh, page. You will see three options. Home, find my order and refund. You need to click on find my order. All right. Find now my you will see order. A form there. Yes. Now you will see there is some information which you have to give. Put down Fill the details properly. Yes. Put down the details properly. And ask me for the order ID, I will give it to you. Okay, you want me to put my name down improperly? Like you yes. want me to, to yes. mess everything up and don't type anything right? All right, hold on. Why are you yelling at me? No, I'm not yelling at you. 
Oh, Sorry, the... ma'am. The la- means there are many people in this room, right? Oh, Who are that working makes me very Amazon. sad. Very, very sad. No, no. No one is yelling at you. Well, it makes me very sad that there's so many people there. Why are there so many people there? They are working, ma'am. That's what you think? What is the order ID? Yeah, the order ID is... Yes. Now click on submit. All right. It didn't do nothing. Okay, all right. Leave it. I'm oh, now it's ID moving on by you. itself and it... Something says... It's... It's moving all by itself. What's happening with my computer? Oh, no. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening, ma'am. Our server is working there to to track this whole thing there. Oh, okay. It's just moving all by itself. Yes, ma'am. So you don't, don't do anything while our server is working there. Okay. You said there's a lot of people there. How many people are, are there where there's a, a zone in which there is danger? How many people are there? Hello? Yes? I thought I lost you. Sorry. No, I'm still here, but my computer is moving all by itself. You're okay. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to do anything, okay? All right. Well, am I supposed to pick these things that says buses? Yes, exactly correct. No. All right. I don't understand why I'm supposed to do this thing. And now do what now? Oh, now it says, it says some, um, my order. Hello? Yeah, I can't hear you properly. Can you hear me now? Yes. It says my order. Uh Uh-huh. And after that, there is a... Okay, you can see your order details, right? That is Uh, an iPhone 11, 64 GB, and the name is Kevin, and the address is Westchester, Ohio. And amount you can see there... $579.99. $579.99. So do you recognize this order? This is yours? No, no, it's not. It's not. Okay. So you want to cancel this order and you want the money back. Refund, right? I've been charged five seventy nine ninety nine. Yes. So you no need to worry about that. Once you cancel this order, you will get back your money. Okay. You don't have to worry at all. Now you just look at the top right hand side. There are three options call home, find my order and refund. You need to click on refund. Refund. Yes. And after that, you need to click on the black logo of Amazon. Click on the black logo of Amazon. Then you will get a refund form where you need to fill up that form properly. And if you're facing any problems, tell me. I'm there to guide you, okay? All right. Uh, It says my name? Yes. Uh, What problems would I face? Sorry? Oh, I hear a lot of people there. How many people are, are there in a zone in which there is danger? There are a lot of people, ma'am. Oh, that makes Hundreds me so sad. Hundreds of Amazon sad. employees are there. Hundreds of people? You're all in danger? That's scary. You're in danger. Yes, you're all in danger. That's, that's terrible. And it makes me very sad. Uh, did you decide to do this because you, you don't know how to do anything else in life? You don't have any other skills? Or, I just don't understand. You must you be, saying, ma'am? You must be pretty desperate. Why? Well, why why would anyone so? want to be around hundreds of people in a time like this? Or is, is it because you don't have any skills? Like you, you don't know how to do anything like make food at a restaurant or, or uh, you know, do like roofing or are you fixing buildings or, or electricity? Yes, I am there. Okay. Do I need to put my city in everything here? No, no, you don't have to. Okay, okay. and how much was my refund amount? 
580 dollar 580 all right don't put in dollar sign don't put in decimal all right 580 what's this refund purpose unauthorized order on um, you know now that i think about it what kind of horrible person would steal money from from someone you said what was that person's name unauthorized what was order. your name unauthorized order order i'm not very good at typing what was that guy's bank name that that he must have used his bank information on my Amazon. That right? column you have to you you have to type in your bank name so that my you can bank get name, back. But, but it said yes. that that was you, in Kevin's. What was that guy's name? No, no. Listen to Who me. Who would listen steal to me, money to from an here. old person? You know, I just don't understand what's going on these days when a person listen to me like you would steal money from uh, someone. Here, listen to me first. Here, you have to write down your bank name in which you want your money back. Okay? Oh! Okay. My bank. Well, see, I'm not sure which one to pick here because I have a checkings and a savings. And sometimes when there's not enough money, so you want in my the money back to in transfer the from my savings yes. into my checking because no, one no. time I, I went to Disneyland. And I had to uh -huh. transfer some money into from my savings into my checking. Um, and it was pretty easy, but sometimes I don't have enough money in my checking, so I have to I have to transfer it from my savings. So have you ever been to Disneyland? That doesn't matter, ma'am. If you want it in saving, you can click on saving also. Okay? Okay. Should I click no, I don't authorize the refund because no, um, you should click on yes. Yes, you have. You are authorizing this refund, so that's why you are getting this refund amount. You need well, to I click on I yes. I think I should click on no because I didn't do the order, right? I, I did not authorize the, the order. Click on yes. What do you mean? I didn't. I didn't do the order. I think I should click on no. No, no, no. Here, the here you are authorizing the refund amount. If you authorize the refund amount, then only you will receive the amount, okay? So in this case, you have to click on yes. I authorize the refund. Isn't, isn't you that are what getting this whole thing is for? Look, it says refund form. You what else would I be doing? Yes. You know, you one are of the things now that I, I get older is I find out that people... They always ask questions that they already know the answer to. Why would I be filling out a refund Mom, I think so. form you didn't get me. if Mom, I didn't Mom, want to, to authorize the reform? That doesn't make any sense. Listen Why is this me, question please. even on there? Because a lot of times you just put all these questions that don't make any sense. Why Why would I be filling out a refund form and canceling an order if I needed to not authorize the refund? It, it, it doesn't make any sense, wouldn't you agree? So you don't want... Okay, okay, listen to me. You don't want the money back. Only you want to cancel the order, right? Was I charged money? Yes. Well, I they want my money back. I, money. I didn't so do you it. you want your money back or not? Yes. You want your money back? Then that's why you are filling up this form. That is the reason. Right, but form. then I, why is there a question that says I oh, authorize the account? refund? Yes, click on yes. Does anyone click no? Is there anyone who doesn't authorize to get their money back? If you are clicking on no, the refund will not come into your account. Yeah, you who will would not do that? Who would money? click on no? Like, isn't this like a redundant, stupid question? So you have to click on yes. But who would click no? Why is this question on here? That's what I'm asking you. I've had a long day. I don't have time for because, useless questions. Because here this question is because like you people, you are you are not able to understand what is going on. All right.
You're not so able to understand what I'm is given. going on? Yes. That, that sounds that's right. What I've given well, how can I help here. you? I mean, if you don't have any skills and you don't know how to do anything and and you is that's why you're doing this. I, I mean, you could you could probably learn a skill if you don't know what's going on, right? Have I'm you just, understood why, why you are filling up this form? Have you understood yes, that? Yes, it says it says right here refund form because I didn't yes. authorize the charge. So, so but then refund, it says refund, I authorize um, refund, refund and I just to me. I asked to you me. a very listen simple to me. question. Who would click no? Who does not want to get their money back? Does anyone push no? If you don't want, there are many customers who doesn't want the money back, right? There's many people so who don't no. want their money back. They just say, okay, someone steal $600 from me. You're telling me there's a lot have of people who, who have like you, to get six hundred dollars stolen from the, them. Have you filled up all the details properly? As we pay, you're not making After any that, sense. I'm just gonna push OK because you sound like you don't know anything. That you don't know what's going on. You said it. If you have clicking on submit, now what you can see there? Tell me. Read out to me. Refund form. Oh, well, it says Amazon at the top. It says Amazon mm -hmm. refund mm -hmm. form. Refund mm -hmm. is being processed. Please log mm -hmm. into your account to verify transaction. It says to log into my account. Okay. Uh, hold on. Not your Amazon account, ma'am. Well, that's what it says. It says Amazon. It, it says, says right here, Amazon, bank. refund it, it, form it is says, being processed. Listen to me. And, okay, I have to look and see. Where would I look and see if it's being processed? Are you done now? I don't know. It have says to log in into my Amazon? Amazon and look at my refund. Where do I see you it? Don't, you are not listening to me. You don't have to go to your Amazon account. You have to log in into your bank account. The bank name which you have given in that form, the, in the refund form, the bank name you have given to us uh, means in that form, but, but you this have form, to log in into your says, online banking. But this form says Amazon. Do you see it says Amazon? So it will not, have you, you seen will not the form before? Money, it says Amazon. You will, not get, you will not get back your money into your Amazon account. You are getting back your money into your bank account. So you have to log in into your bank account to verify that transaction. Well, wait a minute. First, this other form had this ridiculous question that says, do you authorize your refund? And you told me a lot of people like to get their money stolen. You don't make any sense because nobody wants to get any money stolen from them. You wouldn't want to get $600 stolen from you, right? And then... This says Amazon refund. It says log into your Amazon. I think you don't even know what your own form says. So which one is it? So now I logged into my Amazon, but I don't know how to check my refund. You have to you have to log in into your bank account to verify that reminds me, I've been I've been I've had to place a couple orders, you know. I've been eating a lot of this earthworm jerky, and I have diarrhea. What did you say? Your phone was breaking. Okay. Uh, hello. But I, I don't understand you when you're mum you're mumbling again. If you had a long day okay. because you're not enunciating your words. Uh, first of all, listen to me. Your call is transferred to me, and I'm the senior manager on this floor. How do you do? Well, I was doing okay until apparently someone is trying to steal money from me. What kind of horrible yeah. person would steal money from a hard-working, innocent victim? Yeah, actually, ma'am, they are, yes. There's someone is trying to use your identity and they have created a, a fake Amazon account so you cannot able to see the order into your account because they have all created a different account with the help of your identity. So first what we are gonna do, we are gonna cancel the order and get back to your money as a refund. So after that we can go ahead and remove the, all of the hackers who is 
attract your computer, right? So can you tell me exactly what do you see on your screen? Well, I've been eating a lot of this earthworm jerky. That other guy told me to log into my Amazon to see if I got the refund. And while I'm here, I've been ordering a lot of earthworm jerky, but I think it, this is embarrassing. I think it might be giving me the diarrhea. All right. So what you need to do now, ma'am, you need to go ahead and simply log into your online banking and verify me the transaction, whether you receive any money or not. And once you receive the money, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and simply block the fake Amazon account who is credit under your identity. So do you do online banking with your bank? Yes. So you need to simply go ahead and log into your bank and verify me the transaction over the recorded line. What so was I your you name? Know that. Sorry? What was your name? You don't sound like the guy I was just talking to. Yeah, I, I told you my name is John William. I am the senior manager oh, on this Oh, no, I had a really bad experience with a guy named John. He was claiming his name I'm was John. So, I'm yeah, going to call he's you a as Weepe yeah, he's from a, now he, on. Yes, now, as Weepe, yeah. if you had a long day because you're talking really, really fast, I'm, I need I'm you to take a deep that, breath, calm down, yeah, and enunciate your words and talk very slowly. You're, you're talking a mile a minute. Oh, my, all right. I'm very sorry about that, man. Oh, you're still talking really, really fast. Will you take a breath in, take a deep breath, calm down, and explain everything in a normal speed? Yes. Okay. So, ma'am, what you need to do now, you need to simply go ahead and log into your online banking from this device to verify me the transaction, whether you receive any money or not. So you need to simply log into your online banking, okay? Do not oh, use my your bank? Amazon account. Yes. I you don't understand any of this. Okay. And and I asked right. that other guy what kind of horrible person would try to steal money from an innocent victim. How do they yes, live with it? So what happens when you catch yes. these you said you're recording your crime. What happens when you, um, you know, do, do they ever feel guilty about robbing and stealing from innocent victims? How do they live with themselves? No, we are not. We can try to protect your computer and we can give you the some kind of security in your device so nobody can hack you any of your information, ma'am. So no, but what I ask you me. is when you catch the criminals... The, the horrible thieves that would steal money from an innocent, hard-working victim, how long behind bars should they go? No, ma'am, we cannot any, we cannot any action against all the hackers or bad people. We can simply catch him and to submit the police. Oh, function, because right? so you, gonna, you don't yeah, have any so. skills. Well, well, just between me and you, Someone who would steal money from someone else who worked hard. Yes, yes. What should happen okay, to so that horrible person? That. Okay, so have you logged into your Bing, ma'am? Well, how come you, you... That other guy kept telling me to listen to him. Listen to him. It doesn't sound like you all listen to anyone. I asked you, someone who would steal money from a hard-working victim, what would happen to them? Yes, ma'am, but they don't understand because they don't do hard work in his own life. They and you, you don't do hard work. Innocent people. You don't do hard hackers, work, right? and they you're stealing hackers. money from innocent people. Is that what you're saying? I don't understand. Can you tell me what? Can you tell me what do you see on your screen? I see my checking account. Okay, so I want to click on your checking account. Then what do you see on your screen? Just click on the checking account. My checking? Yes. Now, what do you see on your screen, ma'am? I see my checking account. You can see your checking account, right? Yes. All right. So, can you tell me, like, did you receive any money from Amazon? Just check your statement. Whether you receive any money by Amazon? Uh, no, I see my favorite store, the Piggly Wiggly. And then I had to go to the... 
pet store because I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm I'm a pretty big deal. I have a large cat sanctuary, and I take care of rescued Bengal tigers. Do you have any experience with Bengal tigers? All right. So what I'm going to do, ma'am, I'm going to go ahead and connect you the refund Amazon refund department. Okay. So I want to do not touch your computer. You need to just leave the computer, ma'am. So we can give you the Amazon nine digit refund ID. Okay. So once you see that the something is writing over in your screen, let me know. Well, my computer is moving all by itself again. Yes. 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 That means your computer is going to be connected to the Amazon. Well, I already did all this. I filled out the refund. See, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, you have filled out that. Here's my yeah, refund you have form, right that. here. Yes, yes, but do not touch your computer. Just give me, allow me a moment so I can show you what, what, what we have been going to do. What, what do you, you see mean? on your screen right now? I don't understand any of this. Okay, hold on, ma'am, hold on. Let me see. You can see that they are going to give you the option over there, cancellation, order for windows right you need to click on that one cancellation order for windows right i don't understand do what now yeah they're gonna well, the, the thing is that what we're gonna do we're gonna providing you the security in your device so in future there nobody can hack your information right so you can see very soon you can receive the nine digit number he says your address, right? So once you see that, you need to let me know. Uh, in this form? Well, well, you're mumbling you again. I don't understand what you're saying when do you're not, mumbling. Do not touch your computer. I told you, do not touch your computer. Just hold on. Hello, are you still there? Yes. Yeah, so you can see the nine digit number over there. It says your address. You need to write it down on a piece of a paper. Write my address yeah. down. Yes, so you need to write it down. That is your nine digit security ID, which is providing you Amazon, right? It is providing by Amazon. Well, I have to go over to my dresser drawer and get a, get a pen and paper. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Oh, shoot, this pen doesn't work. Hold on, let me check, ma'am. What are you checking? I'm looking for a pen and paper that works. Yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead, we can provide you the security in your device, so you're not able to see that. What? Not able to see what? I don't understand. I have to find a pen that works. Okay, hold on, let me see, let me see, hold on. Hold on, let me see. What What do you mean, let you see? You keep saying let you see. You told me to go find a, 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 to write down some kind of phone, some number, but I can't find a no, pen no, no, that no. works. What do you see on your screen, ma'am? You want me to go back to my computer? Yeah, your computer is going to be updated, right? Oh, I've got a blank screen. There's nothing okay, on my computer. Your computer is going to be updated. I don't have anything on there. All right, hold on. I mean, just hold on. Well, you keep saying what's going on. It sounds like you don't know what's going on. Okay, what do you see on your screen? It's blank. I have a black screen. You're mumbling again. I don't. I told you I don't understand when you're mumbling. Hey, Mr. Pierogi, are you pierogi? No, I don't like pierogies. I'm Italian. I'm not Polish. But why do you Italian? Yes, why do you care what I'm having for dinner? Oh my god. Okay, I know you are a hacker, right? A hacker? You are going to block my old site, which I am creating my own self, right? Your computer is off? Well, my computer was moving all by itself, so I turned it off. You have shut down your computer. Yes. You have shut down your computer? Yes, you want me to turn it on again? Yeah, you need to turn on your computer. You need all to turn right, it on. Hold on. Turn it on your computer right now. And well, first of all, I will not be yelled at. I'm 82 years old, and you will not take that attitude tone with me, young man. I can tell you don't have any respect for anyone, do you? How, how dare you yell at an old woman? What's the matter with you? All right, it is turn it on, right? Just hold on. Do not touch your computer. Well, you told me to go find a pen and a paper. Well, now my computer's moving all by itself again. Okay.
Okay, what? I don't understand. Do not understand touch your computer, ma'am. Do not touch your computer. I told you, do not touch your computer, please. I don't understand what's happening right now. Now, what do you see on your screen? It's what's blank. You, I don't understand what's happening right now. Just give me a moment. You keep saying that. I don't understand why you keep saying give you a moment. <laughs> and how come every time I ask that other guy a question, he kept saying on that refund form, it said, do you authorize your refund? And I said, well, who, who wouldn't want to get the refund authorized? Like, who, who would be okay with getting $600 steal, stolen from them? And he said, a lot of people. And I said, well, what kind of person would want to get money stolen from them? You, you wouldn't want to get money stolen from you, right?